Hello, Battleborn. Today we are going to do some dojo training with Pendles and his legendary lore item. Now, Pendles, he has uh, some nice little effects. When he, when he, basically, when he captures you, he gets catches you. He probably doesn't want to catch you full health. He's a really good finisher, uh, mainly because you can finish somebody off. Uh, you can ca you can run them down, finish them off, get out of the way of harm because you're probably maybe deep in the enemy line. And get out of there. However, if you're after a healer, especially someone like Alani or whatever, or even Miko, if Miko's near somebody else, the problem is they can pop some heals up, and then you're trying to mow them down while they're healing up, and it ends up being this endless cycle, and you're all exposed. So you definitely don't want to do that. So Wormskin kicks are exactly the solution you need because. Because when you attack with injection, you're going to wound somebody for five seconds. Now, wound is extremely powerful in Battleborn. It's extremely, extremely powerful. Wound will um, reduce healing on a target by some 60%, which is dramatic. So if you're like a Lani and you're thinking you're going to get a, a thousand heal off your full stacks, um, uh, your heal, you're going to get 400, which is, is good. But it's not—it's <laughs> not what you expected. So if you're if you're sitting there taking someone down like Alani, and uh, then all of the healing—not just that she does to her, but anyone else. So if she had a Miko on there and an Ombra, and she had uh, healing drones, all those sources of healing are going to be reduced by by sixty percent with a th one single stack of wound. So um, with Pendles in his in his his in his kit here, he has. Uh, I'm just going to go down the other one. He has some other stuff that will help him. Um, like, way down in the line, you'll see there's, you know, here's your, here's your an added bleed. Here's your, you know, for smoke, smoke screen, you pop more often, smoke bomb, pop more often, uh, more damage with injection, all this other stuff, right? Um, damage reflection, all that, um, or jump height. But down down here below, he doesn't get his natural wound until level 10. And then Miasma's aura will wound things, right? Well, honestly, um, that's a long ways to wait in a battle. And usually you never get to level 10 unless you're running like Incursion and it's a good fight. Uh, you're just not going to get to 10 or unless people are farming uh, Varelsian capture or whatever. So because of that, it's almost... A heart, it's, it's, he needs that wound earlier. So what we're going to do is we're going to have that worm kicks to add that wound wound earlier on an injection, right? And you'll see it as a red triangles above their head. Or red, sorry, red, red plus sign, actually. It they, they used to be triangles. They changed it update, as a winter update. They updated it, right? And that what that what that does is it signifies that anyone, it's, it's a negative heal on that character. It's a better icon, actually. The red plus sign is much better than red triangles. It doesn't make any sense. But that's what it is. Okay, so... Actually, I shouldn't have taken any... Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so we're gonna... I'm gonna show you this. So now... Everyone you hit gets that wound. Which is kinda nice, right? That's kinda nice. Which means that they can't receive any healing. And it was five seconds, which is... Actually quite a good length of time. This is gonna finish them off. I don't know why, but that's a good length of time. It's especially a length of time because Pendle's attack speed will go up as you start attacking if you kick in that helix, etc. But it also allows you to do is it allows you to be uh, able to reduce your um, your you can stay in your fight longer without having to just jet away. Now you notice how um, this level nine skill. This was actually really really fun. So the Relentless Strikes reduces your injection's cooldown. Your injection gives a poison and a slow, but also your injection adds a wound from stealth. So, since you're, if you're from stealth, you can top it, you can hop, pop your Miasma, you can hit that again, etc. You can, the point is that you can, if you're, if you're from stealth, what you can do is you can you can use a couple of these skills to build up on each other. And what I could have done here is taken from the shadows. Uh, I probably should have taken from the shadows. 
because when you activate your uh, your smoke bomb, your next injection gets more damage, right? Then that also pairs with the fact that your injection has cooldown uh, with your melee, and that when you're with stealth, from stealth you get all that wound. So you'd pop it, you do that, you pop it, and then you get your injection, etc. So if you're after somebody and you really want to get them down, I mean, once you use your injection and once you use your smoke bomb, you are running like a normal. I mean, you're not you're you're running unstealth, which is like the normal speed of everybody else, which means you are killable, <laughs> very very killable, very killable. You're looking for a corner, you're looking for an edge, I you gotta hide. Okay, so if you're if you're that serious about getting somebody, sometimes, uh, I mean, you're gonna if you're gonna use all your cooldowns to try and hunt somebody down, you need to make sure that they can't heal. So that's really what it comes down to. And then uh, by taking that legendary, it frees us up to not have to take necrosis. We can take venom synergy, which will also impart more damage to injection. Okay, when somebody's below 50% health, which is what you want. You want to finish them off. So, here we go. So we do this. Stealth. Below 50% health. And that's it gets a good hit. So there you go. Anyway, so that may be another way to play Pendles, which, um, I mean, various forms may change it, but another, other gear along with this can help. Boots of the Brute. Um... Uh, heliophagic goggles. I mean, there's a lot of different um, nice complementary items, uh, uh, gear items you can take that would really, really complement this. Um, but uh, let me see, is a deturtler? That's a nice one too. The the point is, is that there's a lot of items that might help with this item. But you, the point is, is you want to a wound. Adding a wound to your attack is actually quite nice, especially especially when you could buy it. So Pendles, being the one who hits the backfield and goes and peels, steals people's shards, will have will tend to have more money or has the ability to collect more money, more shards, than anybody else. And so and so expensive gear isn't actually as much of a problem for him because he can run the map in stealth. So consider a, lot, a few legendaries in my go with this. I'll run, probably create some other videos along with it, but this is definitely a good one for PvP. If you're trying to take someone down in the backfield and you just need to make, make sure that they are not able to pop a heal on them and then all of a sudden instantly all your work is done and you got to get out of there and you wasted your time. So anyways, hope this is good. I'll catch you guys later.